Hi, it's Tim from Booth Events. Today we're going to look at how we can customize the gallery. So here you can see I've got an event where I've already used the iPad app to upload some photos to the gallery. And you can see those here. And the gallery has a basic stock default look. Okay, so what can we do to make this better? We've got a company, we want people to know about our company and to use it. So let's go and have a look. So all of the changes that we're going to make today are going to be on the web app. So here I am logged in on the web app and I'm looking at the event. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click the edit button and I'm going to go to the branding tab. And the first thing I'm going to do is choose some different colors. So I like to have a dark themed gallery. So let's find something that's almost black and make the text white. And I also like purple as my color for the buttons. So I'm going to go find a nice purple. And an important tip when you're setting these colors, make sure you use a fairly dark color because white text will always be overlaid on top of them. Okay, so I'm going to save those changes at the bottom there and reload the gallery. Okay, that's getting better. Great. So the next thing I want to do is I want my social URLs to appear. So I want my links to my Facebook page, my Twitter page, my TikTok, all those things to appear on this page. And how do I do that? Well, you might have seen that those were already possible to set right on the event, but I have the same Facebook page for all of my events. So rather than set it on the event, I'm going to set it on the account. So I'm going to go to the account, hit edit profile, and I'm going to insert some Facebook link. maybe a Twitter and I definitely want to put in a website okay so let's save those changes we'll go back to the event and if I reload the gallery now now I can see I have those three social icons showing up with the links that I set. Okay, great. So now if someone clicks one of those links, it's going to open a new tab and it's going to open that. Cool, but that's not really a call to action. I also want there to be some call to action. Okay, so that we can do on that branding page as well. We'll go back and we'll edit the event again. We'll go to branding and you can see here we can customize the gallery and session pages. The gallery page is what we were just looking at. The session page is what guests land on when they click a link to get their own photos. A session is a guest's own photos. So let's go ahead and add a message and a button. So put a message, um, sign up to enter our contest and win a million bucks. And all you need to do is visit our website and fill out the competition form. Okay, so then we'll have a visit website button and we'll say my website.com slash contest. So here we go, I filled out all the information for what I want to see at the top and I'll save that. And I'll reload my gallery again. Okay, great, and now we can see that I've got this call out at the top of the gallery page. And that's great. So if I click that, it's going to go straight to the website that I've linked to and it's going to open it in a new tab. Okay, so that's a great way to start um, customizing our event and it's pretty simple. Um, if you want to see more videos like these, please leave us some comments down below and we'll get back to them when we can. Thank you.